Hello and welcome to Mathematical Coaching Center. By the end of this video, you will be familiar with the magic, the magic cross method and be able to do breaking the middle term to factorize the harder problem also easily and also it helps to solve the quadratic equation. So without further delay, let's start today's class. Let's do the breaking the middle term. So in this what you'll do is that we'll break the middle term. And you can see here is quadratic factorization means only the quadratic equation will do the breaking the middle term. So what is this quadratic? Okay, so if it's like this ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. This is called as quadratic equation. There has to be square ax square. This is the general form. And where where a should not be equals to zero. If this type of equation will be there, then we can use the breaking the middle term. And why they are given is a should not be equals to zero. Suppose if a is equal to zero, means a into zero will be x square into zero will be zero. So what I'll get bx plus c is equal to zero. So this is not my this is not my quadratic form. So whenever it's like this form x square plus bx plus c is equal to zero, that time only we can use the breaking the middle term. And this is also called as quadratic equation. This is called as quadratic equation since there is two. Let's do an example. The magic cross rule. We'll use the magic cross rule. 2x square minus 13x plus 15. And if you'll if you'll be done by this method, you'll never forget this method. Okay. And it's applicable for everywhere. So what you'll do is that simple you'll write 2x square minus this 13 you'll break. So you'll write bracket. Always do this way only. X plus 15. What you can see this middle one, this plus has to come in the middle. If this will be minus, this has to be minus. Okay, got it? So you are breaking 13 into two part. Now what you'll do is that next step, what you have is that you have to multiply this 15 and in front of there is 2. So 15 twos are how much it will be? 30. 15 twos are 30. Now you'll do the LCM of 30. 2, 15 are 3, 5 are 5, 1 are. So I got this. Now why this is called as the magic cross rule is that we'll use this cross. You can see here. So what you what should we get? 30. After multiplying, I should get 30. And after adding how much I should get? 13. Okay, so there has to be a two number. Suppose if I'll take like this, see, 5 twos are 10, 10 plus 3, will I get 10, 3, 10 plus 3, 5, 13, 10 into 3, 30. So it should be match, match this way. So that's why it is called as magic cross rule. Okay, so how, see, 10, 3 is a 30, 10 plus 3, 13. Since it's plus, if it will be minus, then after minus, it should get this. So later on, we'll prove with the minus also. So what you got? 10 and 3. So we'll write 10 plus 3. Got it? So now we'll do 2x squared minus 10 into x 10x minus plus minus 3x plus 15. Now what you have to do in the next step is that we have to take common between these two. So what will be common is that 2x I think so you are perfect with, to take the common. 2x is already taken out. So okay I'll show you this also little bit longer way so what you have you can see here 2x square minus 10x is there so 2 x square means x x 2x minus this I can write 2 into 5 x okay so you can see here 2 is common x is common 2 is common x is common so I have taken out 2x now what is left over you can see x x minus what is left over 5 okay so this is called as common so minus what do you have here? You can see what you have 3x, 3x plus minus is there 15. 15 can write 3 into 5. This is multiply. So you can see 3, 3 is common. So minus 3. Okay. So what will be common? Minus 3 is common. So x, this plus will change to minus 5. Hope so you got it this. And always remember that this 2 always has to come same. This 2 has to come same. Now what you will do in the next step is that you will write this both the thing common. So it will be x minus 5 in another bracket you will write 2x minus 3. So this is only your factorize. This is your factorize. Okay. 
so you have done the factorization but if they'll give you solve if they'll give you solve if they f if it will be solved if it will be solved what happens is that in the right hand side it will be 0 0 0 0 0 solve means to find the value so if it will be solved then you have to do either or so either either what will be 0 x minus 5 equals to 0 so therefore x equals to minus 5 when it goes as it will be 5 so I got the value of x similarly or what I have 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 so 2x equals to minus 3 when it goes as 3 so x equals to 3 by 2 so this is your solve okay and this is your factorize got it so this is your difference between the solve and the factorization now let's solve another type of question Now let's solve this question. Suppose I have 6x square plus 5x minus 6. So it's in the form of quadratic equation. So what is the quadratic equation form? ax square plus bx plus c. Okay, so it's in this form. So what do you have to do? First step. So as I have told you, what you write? You will write as it is. 6x square plus 5 you will break like this. Okay, then you will write x minus 6. So what do you have to do next step? This minus will come in the middle. Okay. Then what do you have to do? I have told you that this 6 you have to multiply to the front one. So 6 6 are how much it will be? 36. Now you will do the LCM. 2 1s are 2. 2 8s are 16. 2 9s are 3. 3 is a 3. 1 is a. Now what do you use? You will use the cross. Magic cross rule. So you will make a cross. Okay. So what it should come? 36. And after subtracting, it should come how much? 5. Okay. So, 3 3 is a 9. 2 2 is a 4. Yes or no? So, what I got? 9 and 4. See, 9 4 is a 36. 9 minus 4, 5. Okay. So, this is your magic cross rule. So, this will be your 9 and what we got? 4. Okay, so y minus because there is minus. So now you will multiply expand 6x square plus 9 into x, 9x plus minus minus 4x minus 6. Now what do you have to do? Now what do you have to do? You have to take the common in this two. So already I have told you if you have some difficulty you can do and the rough. So what do you have? 6x square can you write 2 into 3 into x square is x into x minus 9. 9 what can I write 3 into 3? into x so you can see what what is common is there 3 is matching 3 is matching x is matching x is matching so what can i take 3x i can take common so 3x common what left over you can see 2x plus then what is left over 3 okay now hope so you got it similarly in this also you can do now you have to practice directly it will be 2 will be common and this will be 2x since it's minus so inside has to be plus because minus plus is minus so 3 so already I have told you what I have told you that this 2 has to come same this 2 are same now you will take common so what will be common 2x plus 3 common now in another bracket this 2 will be there 3x minus 2 this is only your simple factorization and this is only your breaking the middle term so we are breaking the middle term hope so now you have understood nicely yeah, let's try another sum. So here we have another question. So you can see this is also in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. So this is your quadratic form. Okay, so now what you can do? So already I have told you what you'll write. You'll write as it is. Just you'll break the middle term. x square plus, so breaking the middle term, you are breaking the middle term for and x will be as it is. Just you are breaking the number only. Okay, so minus 96. So already I have told you if this side is minus in the middle also it will be minus. Now what do you have to do next step? Can you show me? This and this has to be multiplied. So nothing in front is always there is 1. So 96 1s are 96. Now I have to do LCM. 2 4s are 8. 2 8s are 16. 2 2s are 4. 2 4s are 8. 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 2. 6s are 2. 3s are 3. 1s are. Now I have to use magic cross rule so let's do the magic so make let's make the cross now what do you have what do you have to be 96 will be up after subtracting how much should i get 4 
Okay, so what can I do now? 3 2 is a 6, 6 2 is a 12. Then this side what do you have? 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. This side 8 I got, this side 12. So will it be? Yes or no? 12 and 8. 12 minus 8 is your 4. 12 8 is a 96. So here is our magic cross rule. So this will be your 12 and this will be your 8. Now what can I do? x square plus 12 into x, 12x plus minus minus 8x minus 96. Now what do you have to do? We have to take the common in this two. So there are 2x and there is 1x. So I can take x common. So it will be x plus already taken out. So it will be 12. Now what can I take here? 96. It's 8 12 to 96. Yeah? So minus 8 common. So it will be x plus 12. So this two already I have told you it's same. That means our process is right. Now next step is your x plus 12 and this and this another bracket. So x minus 8. So this is our final answer. So this is only your breaking the middle term. Okay. Now let's solve a little bit of bigger number one. Okay. Last one. So here we have a question. In this question what you can see is that we have 21 x square. So numbers are big. Okay. The process is same. Just the numbers are big, so little bit the calculation will be the bigger one. Okay, simple. So what you will do? First process, everyone you know the first steps. We'll break the middle term. 21 x square plus that means 17 will break. So we'll write in bracket x minus 30. So what will be in the sign in the middle? Minus since there is minus sign in this. Okay, so now what can I do is that now you can see I have to multiply this 30 into 21. So 30 into 21 will not multiply, just I'll keep it at the side and I'll do. 21 LCM will do 3, 7, 7, 1. Now we'll do the LCM of 30. 30 will be 2, 15, 3, 5, and 5, 1. Now what I have to do? I have to do magic cross rule. So let's make a cross. So if I'll multiply also, how much I'll get? 21 into 30, how much I'll get? 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 630. So it should, after multiplying, it should get 630, and after minus, it should get how much? 17. Okay. Now, if I'll do like this 5 7s are 35, 3 2s are 6, 6 3s are 18. That means 35 and 18 I got. 35 minus 18 is 17. Yes or no? And 35 into 18 is your. 630 so i got 35 and i got 18 so what can I write this side 35 and 18 i can write this now i'll open this bracket 21 x square plus 35 x plus minus minus 18 x minus 30 now what i have to do i have to take the common from this two so if if you are having difficulty to take common you can do like this also in a rough 21 x square plus 35x. So 21 I can write 3 dots multiply 7 x x plus 35 what, what can I write 7 5 x. So if you'll see here what is common what is matching here is that 7 x is matching this 7 and this x is matching. So I can take that both the common. So 7 x is outside now. What is left over? 3 x. So 3x plus, now what, what is left over here? Only 5. So 3x plus 5. Okay, so minus I'll take common. Now here is 18x. So you can try this way only. So 18x means how much it will be? 6 it will come. 6. Okay. 6, 3 is 18, 3x. And this minus, minus is there. That means opposite sign it will be plus 6, 5 is 30. Okay, you can try this way only. Now as I have told you that this two always it will come same so we got same that is what we'll write 3x plus 5 and in another bracket we'll write 7x minus 6 so this is only your factorization by breaking the middle term for only quadratic equation you know the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c this is the quadratic form okay if it is equal to then we call it as equation so you can see ax square plus bx plus c is equal to is equal to 0 is not there is equal to 0 when it will be there when they will say you solve okay so already i have showed you solve what is solve this so this is only your which rule magic cross rule
okay so if you have understand this nicely so please like share and subscribe to our channel